In this video, we'll use DB Change Manager to compare two schemas. Within Change Manager, we'll find our data source, we'll connect to it, expand the node, right click on the schema comparison job, select create new, provide a name for the job, any notes if we'd like. As a source, we're going to use the archive. We could use the live database, but we're going to use the archive that we created in an earlier video. We'll select the version. We'll select version 1. At this point, we're going to look at our target. Let's select the data source, and we're going to use the same data source as our target. We'll go to the Refinements tab. Here we're refined based on the archive that we collected, so here's our GIM schema. If we look, we can see the exact objects that we included. So here's our list of tables. Look at our mapping. DB Change Manager allows us to map different data sources and different owners. In this case, I could drop down and select a different schema if I like to. Here I'm going to keep it with the same GIM schema. Let's look at our options. Here we have our synchronization method. We can synchronize using manual or automatic. We default to manual so you can review the changes. We have our include object options. We can tell the change manager how we'd like it to behave depending on the option. So here if it exists in the source only, we're going to create it. If it exists in the source and target and don't match, we can do an alter. We can also force an extended alter where we drop the object and recreate it using the DDL script. If we look down a little further, we can look at our compare options, allowing us to ignore certain things, understanding that different environments may have different settings. Scroll to the bottom, we can preserve the target, we have some identifier options, and lastly, we can extract the DDL if we'd like. Let's go to our Notifications tab. Here, we can enable an email notifier if we'd like, providing the username, the email address, as well as the different notification commands. So here, it's going to run from both the command line and the workbench, and send the job outcome on both, success and error, as well as we can attach reports if we'd like to as well. We'll go to history. So let's go ahead and save this job. And now let's go ahead and execute. With the job completed, we can now see the results. So of our compare job, we can see a compare index of 96%. We can look at the individual results and look at the generate synchronization script as well. So let's look at the individual results. As so we select, we see our overview here of all of our objects. In the right, we can filter down and show only the objects we're interested in. So we have zero drops, zero extended alters, incompatible. The matches are 49, which are not of interest to me right now. I'm just looking at the differences. So here we can see we have a create and an alter. If I select the object here, we can look. It's letting us know that a column was found in the target that did not exist in the source. Here's the script to alter that. We can look at the source DDL as well as the target DDL and you can see that mobile number is there. If we look at our other object found, we can see here is an index that was dropped from the live data source that existed in our archive. So here is our script to create that. So at this point, we can limit the objects that are recreated in our synchronization script or select all. So at this point, we can generate the synchronization script, export the sync script, generate a report, or view object summaries. So let's look at the generation of the synchronization script. So here is our script needed to synchronize the live data source back in line with the archive. At this point we can execute it from Change Manager or we can copy it and run it in another execution window. For more information about DB Change Manager, visit Embarcadero.com.